we've just spent the last couple of months growing peppers indoors because we need to get an early start on that season they take a long time to actually produce any fruit at all so since they're a warm weather plant the only option we've got is to start them off indoors they'll only germinate in temperatures above 70 degrees so no chance at all out here and as a result we've got some nice little pepper plants growing but also we've got a bit of a problem still with aphids hiding underneath these leaves the problem with aphids is they drain all the sap out of your leaves so obviously causing massive problems for your plant but it's because we're actually growing them indoors that they decided to make appearance a little bit earlier than they normally would because they've got a warmer environment and they'll colonize your plants and they'll move from plant to plant and if you don't get on top on it there's a very good chance you'll lose them and we've already done a previous video about keeping on top of problems like this and the easiest way to do that is to blast them off with water nine times out of ten they'll not even bother trying to get back on your plant or they'll not be able to but if you had a teaspoon of washing up liquid to about a litre of water then that will be a bit more effective but while at the same time we're keeping his eye out for these problems that we always get through year we still got to maintain these plants because if we leave them in little pots like this they're going to grow really slowly so we still have to keep moving them on into different ones you can see there's no problems with roots on these plants so in that respect they could stay in there a little bit longer but when they get to a certain size three to four true leaves then i like to move them on and try and promote faster growth so they just get moved into nine centimeter pots and if you've been following the channel for any length of time you know that i just use the same size pot that the plant's in to make an all so it just makes it so much easier to get this plant into its new container. Remove a little bit of compost from the bottom. That helps us sink it in deeper. Then we can just drop it straight into this new pot. And that basically just takes a few seconds. And this will be able to stay in this pot if needs be right up until May by which time it should be three times bigger. So one of the things that I'm going to be doing today is moving all these peppers on into these pots and then I know it's done. And of course, they'll then be going back inside. And at the same time while you're doing this, you're bringing your peppers from the inside to the outside, which is something that you need to do. It's called hardening off your plants. They're very comfortable indoors in that warmth with artificial light or a bit of sunlight through a window. But when you bring them outside, the weather swings are completely different to a stable environment indoors. So if you don't bring them out for a couple hours a day, for about a week, they've not adjusted to that. And you could shock your plants by doing that so severely that they could actually die. So if you are growing these plants indoors, on days like this, when it's a little bit warmer, bring them outside for a couple of hours, take them back in at night and your plants will thrive. But don't keep them in direct sunlight because that also would be a shock and you could burn the leaves of your plants by doing that. So a very quick and easy job to do for today. While at the same time we can have another go at these little aphids by just blasting them off the leaves. That leaf is now clear. We've just blasted them off and they'll not get back on this plant after that. A cheap easy quick solution to that problem and of course they will be back but as long as we keep on top of it they're not going to cause any severe damage to your plant and that's all that matters to us we've also been growing some onions indoors as well these are bulbing onions but we've multi-sown them 
because then we can have three or four medium sized onions growing together just like you would with multi sown beetroot and they're quite happy to grow like that because they'll just push each other apart as they grow if you want really big onions you're gonna have to plant them as single plants but if you're happy with small to medium onions like we are then this is a very good way of doing it because you can maximize your harvest in a very small area and we're doing a container garden again this year because it worked out really well for us last year and in that container garden we've got a really old tin bath and we made lots of holes in the bottom of that and filled it with compost and we've decided this year just to start this container garden off we're going to fill that bath with onions because onions are shallow rooted so we can grow lots and lots of onions in that small area and it is quite cold outdoors still but onions are cold are they but just in case we get any frosts we can cover the bath because there's that much room from the top of the compost to the top of the bath which is allowing those plants to carry on growing and we can cover that top and give them a better help along the way so we'll pop down take a look at this bath and we'll get as first onions sown outside knowing that we're going to be able to offer them more protection than we would if we just put them in the ground let's go take a look well this is that container garden area that we used last year and that's the tin bath plenty of room in there for onions and we've just given that compost a bit of a turning over and then we're going to add some more nutrients to it a nice bit of fish blood and bone make sure we get plenty of nutrients before we even start season and then we're just going to mix it in a little bit as well and then we can take these plugs pop them out and get some planted and they should come out quite easily you just got to be careful with onions they pull out at compost quite easily as long as we keep them together we can start planting so I'm just gonna pop one in the center there keep that bunched up and then push it in so it's nice and stable they'll pick up in their own time if you wanted to you could plant these single onions just by separating them off like that and you can see that's the start of your onion bulb and if you did it that way you'd get bigger onions but for now we're just going to multi sow and we're going to leave a bit of a gap to allow these onions to spread out as they grow as well about three inches it'll be plenty we're not going right to edge because I'm also going to add some onion sets to this container all the way around that edge and they'll be single grown onions and then we'll get some bigger bulbs as well so you can see there's quite a lot of onions all bunched up together there so one more just here And then we'll start another row and what I'll do is I'll plant them a few inches away from those original rows or in between the plants that we've already put in and same again and exactly the same a few inches away but in between the original plantings So, just a few more. If you take the onions out those cells and they come away without any compost, it doesn't matter. Just plant them as you normally would, keeping them bunched together. Like that. One more. 
for this area will do. And then I'm going to add some of these. These are onion sets. So basically just push those in and leave them to grow. So we just push it in. Make sure we leave the top of that onion sticking out like that. And we're going to space these a couple of inches apart and we'll get some really good sized onions from this. That's how simple it is to plant onion sets. A couple of inch, push them down, leave that top sticking out. And we're going to go all the way around the exterior of this tin bath. So we're going to have a lot of onions growing in here. And that's the old point of a container garden. Not much space to work with, but depending on how you do it, you can still grow a lot of things, which you'll see as we go through here. And as always, if you've never done onion sets before, that's the root side, and that is the top of your onion. So that needs to be sticking out of the compost. So, just a couple more, and we're back where we started. Job done. So, there you go. This first planting in this container garden for this year. And we're going to get a lot of runions out of that little space. We also have problems with cats digging as plants up. So, I use these old greenhouse shelves, and I just pop them on top like that. That keeps them off. So they fit nicely along that edge. So that saves us a bit of a problem. But better than that, I've also got some spare sheets of glass which I can lay on top as well. And that is going to hold some heating as well, helping these plants on the way. So for today, I think that is a job well done. So we've just started that container garden for 2023. And we've got a nice big sized bath. And that's going to produce a lot of onions for us. But we've also used the compost that was in it last year. We just churned it around, got rid of any roots and weeds, and then boosted that compost with some extra nutrients. And while these plants get established, we've added that mesh to the top to stop those annoying little cats getting in there and digging everything up and making a real mess. But better than that, we've added those sheets of glass to the top as well, which is creating a miniature greenhouse effect, which is going to help those little plants get established a lot quicker. And if you haven't got sheets of glass, you could use polythene and just tie it around your containers. Anything that you can do to raise the temperature by a few degrees at this time of year is going to be a big benefit for those plants. And now I can carry on finishing off these peppers and getting those moved on into a new container as well. And we won't have to worry about those plants between now and May because they'll be perfectly fine in the containers that we're moving them into. We're going to have bigger, stronger plants. And by that time, we'll be able to move everything out into greenhouses to get that proper sunlight and we've already got an head start on growing season so I better get these plants finished and if you're interested in seeing what else we're going to be putting in that container garden over the next few weeks because we will be packing it out with as many vegetable plants as we can then please hit that subscribe button press that notifications bell and I'll see you on the next video take care Thank you.